We're back, bitches! No, no, no. But we are back. We're back. We're back, baby. Welcome back. We're cooking. We're cooking with James. This is, it's just called foot cooking. It's food. Nobody knows what this is. It's just easy. It's cooking. It's food. It's easy shit. Here's what we're doing today. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with some awesome stuff. Today is a super easy take on a French bistro style dish. And I'm using chicken breast. Bone in, skin on chicken breast. You can use whatever you want. I don't care. I'm using bone on, skin on chicken breast. So what I've done is I've salted this, boom, boom, on both sides and kind of let it hang out for like a little bit. I'm going to dry off the top side, the skin side. Because I want crispy skin. I really don't need crispy skin. We really just want it to get, we want the brownie. We want the, we want the brownie and the pan, the brownie. So I got some salt on it, and then I'm going with my Momofuku David Chang seasoning. And it's just good. It's got everything you want in it. And you just hit that. You just hit it hard. And say, okay, you just hang out. And then we make our way over to our... So if you have something like this, feel free to use it. If you don't have something like this, use a Dutch oven. That's what I usually use, but my mom bought me this, so I was like, okay, I'll use this, mom. Uh, so we'll take this, we'll turn this on like, you know, medium. We'll get some oil in. And uh, we'll let this get hot and we'll drop our chicken in. You can use whatever you want, olive oil. I'm out of olive oil, so I'm use the grape seed oil. Then we'll take our chicken and we'll just drop it in. So this is easy. I'm talking easy. Let me tell you what I have in here. I took one carrot, I peeled it up, and I chopped it into about yay size. And I took like two shallots, and I just chunked them. Then I took some garlic cloves, and I just smashed them. I smash! And uh, we're going to do those up here in a second. Without medium heat, and then we're going to go, we're just going to brown these guys. It's barely hot enough. Well, it'll work. Okay. Oh, okay, it's sizzling. That's what we need. And then we'll take our momofuku. And we will season up at this side. So we really don't want the flame too high because all, all these spices will burn. I mean, there's like garlic and onion powder in here. And if you don't have, uh, you know, momofuku savory seasoned salt, feel free to use whatever you want. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. That's fine. Whatever. This just has so much goodness in it. We're gonna let this go on medium, skin side down, for probably five full minutes. And then we're gonna flip it over, boom. And probably do five more minutes. Then we're gonna take it out. And then we're gonna go in with this. Here's what we're doing here. We're building a fond. We're building some deliciousness in this pan right here. And that's gonna be the base of this delicious dish. So come back and whatever. <laughs> Well, 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 here's what we're doing here. We've got a little French Bistro inspired dish. Uh, we're gonna be using some local cider, some original dry cider, and it's kind of like a little cider chicken. So this has been on this side for about five minutes. Look at this color, this is what we're looking for. What we're really looking for is this brown in the pan. We don't really care about the crispy skin. The skin's irrelevant. We want it for the brownie. So we got about five more minutes. Well, I don't know if you see all the steam coming off of this guy. Yeah, that's the rice cooking. That's right. That's right. That's right for all you white people. You gotta wash your rice before you put it in this guy. But then once you do that, it does the rest for you. That one looks kind of anemic, but whatever. Nobody cares. We don't really care about the skin. We care about the the fond underneath. That's what we want. That's the gold. The gold. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we'll take the chicken out because it's not even kind of done. Duh. Uh, but we needed to get brown. We needed the brownies. We needed all this goodness. 
Okay, okay. Now we take this chopped up veg, very roughly chopped, because we don't really want it to burn. And we're going in. And we're gonna soften these, saute these bad boys up, get some color on it, and be happy about life. Okay, we're getting some color on it. That's what we're looking for. We need some color. We need more brown goodness in this pan. We could deglaze with the cider. I've done that, but we had some white wine open, so we're just gonna deglaze with this, and then we're gonna use the cider to build the sauce. I think what makes this so French is there's no thickening ingredient to the sauce. It's just reduction and reduction, and boring reduction. That and I saw some French dude make it, so. Oh. We don't really need to flambe it, but. But you could. We'll crank this up to high now. And we'll scrape up all those good little bits. Mmm, buddy. So here's step one of the reduction. We're basically going to reduce this to nothing. We'll turn it down a little bit. And once this bad boy is really reduced, then uh, we'll put the chicken back in. But this right here is the start of something good, something real good. So, and it's going pretty fast. All right, this is pretty, pretty reduced, guys. Pretty much nothing left. So we're going it back in with the chicken. And the chicken juices. And now we're gonna take this cider. Oh yeah, we're gonna turn this back up. We're gonna take this cider, and we're just gonna go in with it. Oh yeah, baby. About, screw it. That's too much, but I don't care. I don't even care. That's what cooking is, guys. That's what cooking is. So probably do less than I just did, but whatever. We're gonna crank this up on real high. We're gonna get this boiling. You get this boiling here. And then once this boils, we're gonna turn it down to low. Just kidding, we're gonna turn it down like medium. And then, uh. Let it cook for like 20 minutes. Oh, we're about to get a boil here. And I'm gonna cover it up and totally destroy the crispy skin that we did. But again, I don't care about this crispy skin. I care about making the sauce delicious. We can rip the skin straight off. We're making sauce. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You'll see, trust. Bring to boil, reduce to simmer. All right, so we're gonna cover this mostly. We're gonna reduce it. And uh, computer, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll come back in 20. So here's what we've done here. We've temped this chicken, and when it's reached 165, it's cooked, so we took it out. This is a big old breast in here and it's not cooked. So, you know, we're letting it hang. But the timer hadn't gone off, so we're kind of right on schedule. It's just a big old booby. <laughs> <laughs> Got this going for us, which is nice. We're gonna do a couple things here. We're gonna cover this chicken, let it rest. Then we're gonna scoop out all of this veg. You don't have to. You definitely don't have to. I want to though. Don't worry, you can put this back in and eat it. It's delicious. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying for the sauce, I prefer to do this. Okay, now we gotta do a couple things here. Turn this down. We're gonna take some cream, some heavy cream. Hey yo, heavy cream. Whatever heavy cream you use, I don't care. This is what's in here. And we're gonna use Like that much. Then we give it a stir. Um, and then we'll bring it, you know, we'll bring it up to a boil and let it simmer. This is the old, uh, 
fill reduction. We want it to be thick and coat the back of the spoon all nice like. So just be patient. Just be patient and let it reduce. Get a little sore this world. Actually, I'm probably the cream probably doesn't make it French now I'm thinking about it. I don't know. If this was like a real French bistro dish, I doubt there'd be cream in it. I don't really know much about French anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a patron of the dumb zone, so I know nothing. <laughs> the moral of a story with sauce is you want to do this. You want to take the back of your spoon and you want to go and when it does that and you know, it stays and then your th sauce is thick enough. So our sauce is thick enough. Moral of the story is our sauce is thick enough. So we're gonna turn it off the heat. I'm gonna take it off the heat totally. And for the final ingredient that actually makes this sauce delicious, it was stuck in my fridge and I couldn't find it, is some whole grain Dijon mustard of whatever your preference is. And I don't know how much to put in, I put about that much. And I'm off the heat, and I'm gonna swirl it around, break it up. And this Dijon goodness is going to be love. I need salt? Not really. I need nothing. We'll put a little salt. Don't fuck it up! Ah! I think we're fine. All right, let me plate this up. I'll come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> we got some rice. We'll actually get a big helping of rice because this is delicious. Okay, we'll take our sauce. Ooh, we'll hit it up. We'll hit it up twice. Ah, oh. and because it's so brown. Doo -doo -boo -boo -doo -boo. Remember that veg I was talking about earlier? Here you go, put some veg, put some veg on. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's give this a try. Here we go. Mm, all right. mm, mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's so good. Oh, that's rice. Of course it's good, because the gravy's all seeping the rice. This is good, dudes. If you want a little French-inspired feeling fancy about yourself dish, you saw me do it, it was no big deal. Go have fun. Mmm, that's good.